it's empty, you know, okay. because Merchant has the courthouse. But we, we have a festival there every year, and we've had it for about 20 years. And so we're having it uh, December the 14th, this coming Saturday, from 10 to 5. And we have a lot of vendors that are coming. We've got vendors in the first floor, vendors in the second floor, haven't we? And Full. then we, uh, even outside. So we're going to have a nice group. All right. And so this event's been happening for several years now. Have you ladies been a part of it every single year? I missed one. I think I missed the first one. I missed yeah, one a but year too bad. There pretty well. She she's one of the we have artists that oh, okay. have there. Tell her about <coughs> some of our booths that we have. Um, well, we have over thirty vendors this year. She, I don't know the exact number. Uh, there there are things like Mary Kay and Lip Sense with the makeup type things and Junkyard Chic with uh, home decor and furniture items uh, and Color Street Nails and children's books and we have history books by her <laughs> uh there's a k and b custom designs with tumbler cups uh russo mexico with dresses ponchos oh, blankets okay. and other things uh many vendors with reclaimed wood creations and there are some woodworkers there i don't know how many of them uh indian jewelry uh the fused glass prints mosaics original paintings and john young will be there with real concho catering and uh, Food. a lot of gift ideas, just lots of different things. Mm -hmm. And we finally got a hold of Santa Claus today, and that's he said awesome. he will be there between 11 and 1. Oh, so that's perfect. wonderful. We've got Santa coming now. I didn't know that. <laughs> so you have a little bit of everything going on. We, you know, we have a lot of things. Lot. And, and the only thing about getting to our place is a little tricky because it's not in Merchant. But if you take 67 out of San Angelo uh -huh. West, like you're going to Merchant, just before you get there, look for a a highway called 72 okay. and it says Sherwood. Turn left on it and go one mile and then you'll see the big courthouse on the right over there. And there. so it's all going to be happening here at this courthouse. Uh -huh. Now is there a price for people to get in? Is it completely free? It's free. Oh wow. And a lot of them just love to see the old building you know because it was very active at one time and mm -hmm. they can go through all the rooms where we have the different booths and things and they seem to enjoy it. So we just really welcome everybody to come out. Definitely, and it sounds like it's going to be a great event, especially for those who are looking for some last-minute holiday gifts for their relatives. Uh, they can find some unique items there, I'm sure. You have right. so many different vendors. We, ha we have one vendor that has almost a, uh, I'd call Joyce's a, a general store. A store. <laughs> she, and she has everything in the world, and we have lots of jewelry available, of course, but she goes out to where the Indians live in and uh, I think New Mexico or so, and uh, brings in beautiful jewelry. Oh, wow. And so that, it's quite neat. There you go, everyone. That. Once again, the Christmas celebration at the Sherwood Courthouse will be happening this Saturday, December the 14th. They will begin at 10 in the morning and go on until 5 in the afternoon. Again, that's in Mertzen. And they will be, they will have Santa Claus there at the event as well from 11 to 1, you said? Yes. Uh, so if you want some pictures with Santa Claus and the kids, uh, you can get those done there as well. Once again, lots of different things that you can find if you're looking for a special Christmas gift uh, for that someone special in your life, then that'll be a perfect place to get that. Ladies, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Appreciate you very much. Thank you. Absolutely. I'll be right back after this. Do you want to be on Contra Valley Live? Then check us out on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash KLST News. Train. Extreme conditions testing. It's hard to stop a train. Really hard. Train, the most reliable heating and cooling. What if you needed glasses, but you didn't want large, obvious frames? Well, you'd get contact lenses. What if you needed help hearing, but you didn't want large, obvious hearing aids? With new technology, you can have a 100% invisible answer. It's SoundLens. Tiny, smart, fully automatic, and unlike any other. It's the only 100% invisible hearing device with a custom-made difference. You need custom prescription lenses from an eye doctor, just like you need a prescription device for hearing. And that's the secret. Each sound lens is custom-made by a professional to fit perfectly in the ear, so it's comfortably invisible with incredible natural sound. Hear the custom difference. We know sound lens works, and it will work for you. For a limited time, Livingston is offering a 10-day test drive. That's right, a risk-free, zero-cost opportunity 
opportunity to experience the custom difference. It's that simple. Want to know more? Call now for your free sound lens evaluation. The only risk is in doing nothing. Don't miss this opportunity. Call now. Hey, I need you to get that garage door fixed before you go golfing today. What do you mean no golf? Don't worry, I called Contra Valley Door. It's the wife. Hi, honey. Hey, did you get that garage door fixed yet? Just about done. We've been helping husbands stay out of the doghouse for over 35 years. Call Contra Valley Door. Welcome back, everyone. Joining us now is Jerry Sloan from the San Angelo Family Shelter. How are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for joining us here on the show today. Now, we all know Christmas is right around the corner, and you guys at the shelter, you actually have a really special program going on right now. It's called Adopt a Mom. Tell yes. me a little bit more what that is. Any Every year about Christmas time, we always have at least 20 to 25 mothers in-house with children and then we also have 25 to 30 non-resident mothers that we serve and our non-resident mothers don't live at the shelter a lot of them have been at the shelter and are living an abuse-free lifestyle mm -hmm. it's hard raising children on your own so we ask the community whether it be individuals clubs churches families to come together and adopt a mother and her children or a single mother and help provide Christmas for them all right. So anyone who is interested, what do they have to do? All they have to do is call 655-5774 and tell them they're interested in the Adopt-A-Mom. And uh, Hillary, our children's coordinator, will, she's in charge of it, and she will get it uh, help hook them up. Uh, it makes such a difference in the lives come Christmas morning when the kids get up and Santa's been there because those Christmas presents don't, sh don't show up mm -hmm. until overnight. So when they wake up Christmas morning, they have presents. Awesome. So you've been doing, this isn't the first time you do it. No, we've been doing the Adopt-A-Mom program for over 25 years. Oh, wow. In the community, we always just have a wonderful response, uh, um, a wonderful response. And even sometimes at the last minute, we might have to make a last minute call for help because mm -hmm. if someone comes in two or three days before Christmas. Um, the other thing is, you know, uh, re-gifting. If we all have, if any of you have gifts that you've gotten over the last couple of years, perfumes, lotions, things like that, that are still sitting in the closet, mm -hmm. uh, bring them. They'd be wonderful for us to help fill uh, last minute sacks okay. and gifts for the moms and for the older kids. Definitely. Um, do you have a good response from these women, these families who are at the shelter? We do. and. A large majority of our mothers comment that their, their, their children's Christmas at the shelter is usually the best it's ever been. And, you know, they come to us, they've been emotionally beat down, they've been physically beaten, and we say, come on, you know, we'll do whatever we can mm -hmm. do, we'll help you, we'll help provide Christmas. And they're prepared for, you know, a really bad Christmas right. and, and not having anything for their children. And as mothers, we don't worry about ourselves. Mm -hmm. They say, don't buy us anything, just do my kids, take care of my children. Right. But we also like to be able to provide them something special, whether it's an inexpensive pair of earrings and a scarf. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it can be real simple gifts or simple things that you, we can just put in gift bags for the mothers as well. Definitely, and like you were saying, you know, some of these mothers, they've they've already uh, gotten out of that abusive yes. relationship, so they do need help to get back on their feet. And so this is kind of one of those ways to help them as oh, well. Oh, it is. And so those are our non-residents. And our non-resident totals have increased tremendously the last three years. And the other thing is we don't so just serve San Angelo. We serve the whole entire Concho Valley. Oh. So we have victims in Robert Lee and Ozona and Big Lake and Eden that we serve as well. And our outreach workers go there. So we also try to help provide Christmas for them as well. Oh, wow. I love that. And you do, you do serve so many people we do. in we, the entire county. Uh, in the Concert Valley, Valley, every year, we serve about 450, 15 women, men, oh, wow. and children. And uh, residentially, we provide over 13,000 shelter nights a year. Oh, wow. And so, what are some of the services that you offer at the shelter? We offer uh, counseling with a licensed professional counselor. She does individual sessions, and she does a group session once a, once a week. We have a case manager who helps our victims find employment. Uh, apply for any benefits that might, they might need, helps them find housing. She uh, also does some vocational training if that's necessary. We have a wonder, wonderful children's program that works with the kids, does tutoring after school, all kinds of children's activities to help them work on their emotional and social skills. 
and 24 hour a day housing, food, uh, and all of our services are free. Wow. So this adopt a mom program is just one of many uh, services oh, yes. that you offer here uh, for families in the Concha Valley. Once again, everyone, if you're interested in adopting a mom or a family, you can contact the San Angelo Family Shelter. They are located at 79 Gillis Street, and you can call that number on your screen, 658-8631. And there was another one. That one's that no, oh, number's that, fine. That one's fine, then. Uh, you can call them again. They have about 40 moms. 40 to 45 women and, women and their children. There you go. And you can help provide them a wonderful Christmas this season uh, that can really just, just make their holiday. Thank, thank you, you so Amanda. much, Jerry, for joining us. I, I appreciate, appreciate you. it. Yeah, thank you. I'll be right back after this.